everybody, off the highway again, and this week I'm talking with Tim Sorens. We're doing three episodes with Tim talking about innovation, and uh, specifically, uh, this is Tim Sorens uh, of the Parish Collective, the author of The New Parish. Tim, you were recently at a conference called SOCAP in San Francisco, and it is a conference whose purpose is to bring money to meaning. It's basically social investing, or I mean, there's a lot of probably really cool terms that you know better than I do. And I want you to talk about, this is a secular, this is really a secular thing, but you're a part of it as a person of faith, a very like inspired, integrated person of faith, a leader, a Christian leader. Um, why do you think it's important for people of faith to be involved in conversations like uh, something like SOCAP? Well, Tony, the longer that I've been doing ministry, and really, like very local community development work, mm -hmm. the longer I'm realizing that unless you have financial or you could say economic development that's going alongside that community development, uh, arguably the change is not going to last. Hmm. So I've been paying attention to this movement for quite some time, both impact investing and social entrepreneurship. And what's been interesting about being involved is that the longer that you get in, into it, if you are, say, an impact investor, so you're taking your money and you're investing a good portion of it into things that you believe in. Not just a philanthropy, but it might be a zero-interest loan to an entrepreneur you believe in or uh, on and on. Um, it makes you a little bit different than your classic, ordinary investor who's just trying to maximize profit. Well, a question that might come up is, well, what makes up for the difference between maximum of profit and you could say maximum meaning? Mm -hmm. And for what we're seeing is a lot of people, probably the majority, like 50, 60, 70%, it's their religious faith tradition. It might not all be Christian, but when you think about it, it begins to make more sense. I mean, if you're living according to a different story than maximizing profit, which pretty much all faith traditions would argue, um, that might get you in the game. So it's been pretty interesting. Rosalie Harden, who's the co-founder of SoCap, uh, is a, an Episcopal priest herself. Hmm. And so she definitely brings a major um, sense of how faith integrates with it, impact investing and social entrepreneurship, just personally. You know, it's interesting because historically we haven't talked about it too much at SOCAP, but this year we did an event, or a session, I should say, on church and impact investing. And really? Yeah, there was not a seat to be had. I mean, it was completely full. Uh, really rich discussions about the church's role, both in contributing to this movement and how really the movement could stand to benefit from churches and faith communities getting involved. It's really great. One of the things that I'm noticing in our society today is um, I'm guessing that room was uh, was populated an awful lot by, by non-churchgoers. And the sort of the willingness to cross pollinate that's happening in this generation and to see the church as a potential partner for good, for good work and the church starting to get over itself and not having to self-brand everything. And no, no, we're going to partner with things that don't necessarily have a sacred label to it. That's beginning to happen. Would you agree with that? Are you seeing that happen as well? Yeah, I'm seeing that more and more. What's also interesting is on the organization level, you see that. A lot of folks find their way to me via the Parish Collective, which is trying to uh, cast a vision for how we can be the church as a team in the neighborhood. I'm pr in pursuing God's renewal there. And as there is, yep, exactly. So uh, I've had really rich and honestly incredible conversations with lots of organizations that historically have never worked with the church, whether they're doing entrepreneurship stuff or working with the built environment, who are saying, actually, we'd love to work with churches. You're saying they're interested in local community development. We'd, we'd love to play. I think that's 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 new and newer, and uh, I think it's growing. I find it terribly exciting. Fantastic. If you'd like to get in on these conversations about this stuff, sure, SOCAP has passed, but um, you can go to the Parish Collective website, parishcollective.org. Mm -hmm. um, and also coming up in November 17th and 18th in Cincinnati is the Neighborhood Economics Conference. So if you've got the ability to get there, this conversation is going to be going on there. Tim will be there and a way for you to be talking about investing, entrepreneurship, and also bringing meaning to your place and time. Thanks so much, Tim. Appreciate it. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Tim.